Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me the new Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE and in this video I will show you how to annotate PDF files. So I will use two different apps. The first one is Samsung Notes which is pre-installed and the second one is Zodo. So I will start with the Samsung Notes. So once you open the Samsung Notes on the top right corner, you will see a small icon. It says PDF plus okay and you can import any PDF file through here so I will select it okay and then it will take you to the location where you have your PDF files available so in the download I have a few PDF files so I will select this first one so once I select it you will see an option over here it says done so I press done and then it will open this PDF file in the Samsung notes where I can annotate it I can edit it so you can see over here uh, the PDF file is now open so you can see over here and the second thing is if you want to know how many pages uh, it contains and you want to go directly to uh, some specific page what you can do is you can use this icon over here it says page sorter okay so i will select this page sorter option and here you see on the left side you have all information about uh, how many pages it contains so this pdf file contains 984 pages okay so you can see over here all the pages are available over here okay so you can scroll from here and you can go directly to some specific page okay so for example if i want to go to this page okay i select it so on this page we can do our annotation okay so once you finish with this you can again select this uh, page sorter icon okay and then it will go from here and then you can easily annotate whatever page you want okay so the first thing over here if we go to the tools you can see over here uh, there is a pen uh, icon okay so this is the pen mode so if you select it there are five different uh, pens available to you so you can select any pen and then we have the thickness option okay so you can see you can reduce it you can increase it and then here we have different lines option over here okay so you can select any and then we have a different colors option as well okay so for example i select this one and then i want to write something on my pdf i can easily write it okay so you can see over here okay and then we move to the second tool the second tool is the highlighter tool which is really important in pdf if i select it you see there are four different uh, highlighters available and uh, they are like a straight line um, a highlighter or the normal ones okay so for example i select this straight line and i change uh, this color to yellow okay then i can select any uh, any text i want so you can see over here i can use this as a straight line uh, highlighter okay and then if you want you can also use the normal highlighter okay so for example like this one i select and then you can see i just highlight this part okay so you can see over here i'm currently highlighting it so you can use different highlighters option available then we have the eraser if you want to erase something you see there is an eraser option available and then we have uh, the handwriting uh, to text tool so for example i select this icon from here and i want to write something with my pen and then i want to convert it into the text i can easily do it so uh, i write here on pdf file so you can see over here uh, i write with my uh, pen and then it convert it into the text so this is really really uh, important tool uh, the next tool is related to the uh, shape tool so you can see over here there is a shape tool over here so once you select it you can create any shape okay for example i want to select this paragraph i want to create and uh, um, you can say a box around it okay so for example i select it and then it will convert into the neat shape okay so any kind of shape you can create you see you can create this kind of shape 
okay you can create that kind of shape so it will make it neat for you okay so you can see over here the circle so any type of shapes uh, you can create on your pdf file and then if you want to uh, write something uh, with the keyboard you want to type some text you can also do it okay so simply for example i go over here okay and then you see there's a keyboard option okay so i just select it and here you want to write something anywhere on your pdf file you can write okay so you can see over here okay so you can write anything over uh, on your pdf file using this option then if you want you can also change its color uh, the font okay you can also change its location as well okay so for example like this one if you want to change uh, you can see you can change the style you can underline it okay there are different options also available okay uh, the next thing is if you want to extract the text from your pdf file you can also extract it and you can take it to uh, another notes as well for example i want to extract this text what i will do is first i will use this tray from here okay i drag out the tray okay then i uh, drag out the another samsung notes okay so you see the samsung notes icon i just drag it and i open in the split screen view so i open it like this okay so you can see over here now i open uh, some new notes okay i want to create some new notes and i want to import uh, this text from here into my new notes i can easily do it so i use my pen i just select okay so you can see over here i just select it okay so you see i just select all this text okay now what i i will do you see there is a small menu up here you can just simply copy it okay i just copy it and then i bring my pen over here okay and then i just hold my pen on the screen like this and you see small um, uh, menu up here and then i paste it okay so you can see over here all uh, my text from this side i paste it into this side and i can then annotate it i can highlight it okay i can write on it okay i can use the the shape tool if you want some kind of shape okay so different things i can do with this uh, text so you can easily extract text from one pdf file and you can convert it into the samsung notes and you can save your work okay the uh, next thing is if you want to insert some image or some text from google to your pdf you can also do it again you have to open this tray open the samsung internet you see the samsung internet just drag it same way and then put it over here okay once you uh, uh, drag it over here you can uh, just select any image so for example i open uh, these images and for example you like this image and you want to transfer it you can easily do it so for example like this image okay i just hold it and then i just drag it you see i'm dragging it to my pdf file so you can see over here i drag <coughs> this uh, image over here then if you want you can make it big okay and then if you want you can label it okay so <clears throat> you can do a lot uh, with this uh, pdf file the next thing is if you want to extract some text and you want to insert in your pdf you can do it so for example from the google uh, i go i open some website so for example i open this website right and i want to get this uh, text into my pdf i can do it so i just select it with my pen like that and then simply i just drag it you see i'm dragging it i will put it over here so you can see over here i put it over here and now if you want you can edit this text as well okay so you just uh, select it okay so for example i select this one and i select till here okay and then if you want you can make it a little small okay so for example i make this size okay so you can see over here i put it like this and then if you want you can also edit this text you can also edit yourself anything into this so the next thing that i want to show you i will close this one as well so uh, whatever work you do on your pdf it will be automatically saved but there is also possibility you can convert once you finish with your annotation you can convert your pdf files okay so what you can do is you just have to select these three dots over here and once you select it you will see the option of save as file okay so once you select this option it gives you different option to save it so you can save it as pdf file 
you can save it as notes file word file powerpoint image or text so you have a lot of option to save your uh, file okay so this is for samsung notes so now i will move to the next app which is zodo so i will select the zodo app so on zodo app you see on the right side you see this uh, plus icon over here so just select it and it gives you uh, four different options you can uh, create a new pdf uh, create pdf from image from documents and from web page so i select a pdf from documents so once i select it it will uh, take me to the location where i have my uh, pdf files available uh, so i will select uh, one pdf file so for example i select this pdf file and i select it and then i convert it okay and then i open this pdf file so you can see over here the pdf file is now open you see there are different pages on this pdf file okay so on top of it you see there are different tools available for the annotation so the first uh, uh, tool is the highlighter tool okay so for example i select this one and then uh, you can highlight anything in your pdf for example i want to highlight this one till here Okay, so you can see over here it highlighted and then if you want you can also change the color for example yellow you see there are different colors available okay and then you can also change the color by yourself from here there are more colors option okay the next thing is the translation option you can also translate your highlighted text so you can see over here there is a translation icon so you just select it it will open the google for you and then you can easily translate to any language okay so i will go back okay uh, then uh, what else you can do is you can copy your text you can paste it into a different notes file as well and you can also add, add the sticky notes uh, add to a comment to your highlighted text so for example i select this um, sticky note you can see you can write over here okay you can uh, write anything you can write any text that is related so i write over here so you can see over here and then you can save it so you can save the sticky note to your highlighted text the next tool is again a highlighter tool but it's like a free highlighter tool so you can see over here you can do it like this okay and then if you want you can also change the color for example like this color okay and then uh, the next tool is the underline tool okay so you can select any text that you want to underline for example i want to underline this one so you can see you can underline and then you can also change the line colors okay and uh, then we have the uh, pen tool handwriting tool so you can write it okay so you can see over here with your pen okay then we have the text tool over here okay so you can use the text tool as well you can write anything uh, on to your uh, you can see i will show you so i open you can type anything okay So you can type anything into uh, your PDF file as well. And the next uh, tool is the text strike out tool. So for example, I want to uh, text strike out this part. Okay, so you can see over here, you can do this as well. The next tool is the uh, text squiggly tool. So for example, if you want to use this option, you can also use the text squiggly tool. It will be like this one. And then we have the sticky note. Okay, so you can add sticky note anywhere. Okay, you can uh, use your sticky note to put your ideas okay or summaries okay so you can see you can save it so guys if you want to access more tools in the zodo there are more options available so if you uh, select from here you see there are draw tools okay so once you draw it will open the different uh, draw tools option so for example uh, you see there is a circle option you can draw a circle okay then this shape okay so you can create different shapes into your pdf as well okay and then we have like this arrow shape so you can create different arrows uh, into your pdf as well so there is a lot of options available then we have fill and sign so you can use uh, different signatures you can create your own signature so for example you can create your signature like this one okay so then you press done and once you um, want to finish with your work and you want to use this signature you can do it so for example i put it like this and the signature will appear over here okay and uh, then if you go over here we have the view mode there are different view modes available 
and the next thing is how you can access uh, your annotation pages so there there is option for that so for example you you see there are browse thumbnails option so you just select it okay so all the pages will open in front of you now you only want to see where you do your annotation okay so you just go over here in this filter tool just select it and then you see this annotated option just select it and it will only show you the pages where you do your annotation so you see i do my annotation on these four pages so i can easily access these four pages okay so you can see over here so this is how you can use this app the other option is you have a, a prepare form you have insert tool maya tool pens okay so you have a lot of option available in the zodo app and uh, then if you want to extract your text you can also do it and you can put it into your samsung notes as well so again what you have to do is you can just use this uh, edge panel and take out the samsung notes like this just drag it in the split screen open it like this and then you can open a new page okay for example i open a new page you can import your pdf text over here so for example i want to uh, extract this text okay so i just select it okay so i just select it like this so till here okay and then uh, what i can do is i can copy it you see there is a option for copy so i just copy it okay and then simply i come over here okay and then i just put my pen like this and then i paste it okay so you can see over here i um, extract my text from this sudo file okay and i put into my samsung notes and here if you want you can do your all the annotations whatever you want you can write okay you can do a lot in this uh, area as well the next thing is once you finish with your uh, pdf annotation in this zodo app okay so what you can do is uh, you just select it and then you see these three dots over here and then you see this option of save a copy so you, you see there are different options you can save identical copy flattened copy reduce file size copy permanently cropped copy password protected copy so you have a lot of option you can save your pdf your annotated pdf and the uh, the original pdf will also be there so you can uh, use different option there are different options available if you want to add pages you can also add pages again these three dots you see this edit pages option and then we have the add uh, page option as well so there are different page options available as well okay uh, so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much